वेलकम जी लेट्स स्टार्ट जावा ट्यूटोरियल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन जावा कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क्स ओके सो दिस कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क्स प्रोवाइड अ सेट ऑफ इनबिल्ड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर फॉर अस एंड वी कैन जस्ट नो लॉट्स ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर अवेलेबल and uh, the scenario and situation where we can use this data structure so all the data structures uh, java come with a come in the one particular package and that is known as java collection frameworks so here uh, uh, overall java have a two kind of collections one collections and another is map what do you mean by collections what do you mean by map collection means simply we have a list of object object 1 object 2 object 3 object 4 object 5 object 6 object 7 just we are collecting okay and after collecting we are provide the uh, access method when i want to put retrieve particular object 1 object 2 object 3 to provide the access method as well as okay so collection is the thing just a collections of object and collections of object and after that they provide the collection then provide the retrieval method how you can retrieve how you can uh, fetch one object or two object or all object from the collections a second kind of uh, collection framework say about the map means ki we have a one object so we are not flatly just going to store in the particular data structure instead we are mapping to the particular key this is the one key map to the particular object again key map to the particular object again key but map so in this way all the they are also collecting the object collecting the object but they are with the uh, help of some unique identification in future uh, user want ki i want to this object just they pass the particular key particular key at the value will return so they uh, map is the kind of data structures they are going to stores your object with particular unique identifier so those unique identifier known as a key so always they are going to store the object in a form of a key and value so whenever uh, you need key our object can be stored set of object object 1 object 2 object 3 going to store in the form of key and value then we have to go to use the map collections and sometime we just want to store set up my object so in the in this scenario we are going to using the same normal collections okay so these are the basic thing uh, so before uh, we have started if you want to store any uh, value the generally we are creating one uh, variable that hold only one value okay and after that we study if we have a more than one year two year three value then we have discuss about the array array data structures array store the uh, list of uh, predefined size list i want to store the uh, uh, five item or yeah, six item if you know the size uh, fix key this initially you know the size of your object you want to manage then you are creating the your array object Okay, the array have a only of uh, uh, initial the problem or uh, limitation ki array you only create when you know the list of item you are, you are going to manage but the java as a collection framework uh, java also say ki you can are going to collect the multiple object so this is the same as array ya yeah, what okay so this so in java collections they are going to using the two concept are uh, collecting your object one is the concept we are you array itself which we have learned but here they have a developer initially specify the initial size but in this in the collections they are provide a kind of a dynamic array developer if you don't know the initial ki how many number of element you are going to store then they had uh, there is a concept of uh, dynamic growable array that collections providers ki 
until you are going to add you are going to add you are going to this rs size can be going to increase so this is the dynamic array concept and second way to storing uh, your uh, object in a collection like a linked list data structure the one data structure link to another object link to another object link to another object so these two data structures one is your, your array oh, collections is a implemented uh, co complete collections implemented in the basically in the two form of data structure one is the basic data structure your array array and second your link list maybe singly link list or double link list so these both data structures are uh, going to implemented by the java as a collections framework and provide us as a list of classes and interface as a java developer we don't need to create this data structure we know this data structure is already implemented and java as a library provide us a set of classes as a developer we should know that this is the set of classes for this purpose so that you can use so java always enforce you you don't go to write the fresh data structure here and implement all the data structure concepts instead this uh, concept is already already implemented and provided as a classes we have to just use those so uh, here we are discussing about the uh, incomplete collection framework your array as a data structures and linked list as a data structures so we have to figure out ki what kind of uh, classes java provide us that uh, implement your array and similarly what kind of data classes java is provided to implementation of your linked list okay so so, so complete collections of object object 1 object 2 object 3 object 4 object 5 object 6 object six, the natures of the collections they have a categorize your complete collection this is not only one collections object that offer all the functionality but instead the different uh, category of usage maybe i want all this collection should be only unique yeah this support duplicate or not in this way they are grouping the different uh, categories so uh, be aware these the two uh, collections one is your collections one is your map there are two kinds of collections java support one you just simply want to collect the set of object set of object okay and here i want to collect the set of object not flat object but with a particular key i always bound to the particular key and then value key and then value okay so this is the major uh, kind of a uh, collections available in java which we are going to study in deep so collection framework is a uh, provided by java platform as a set of uh, classes and interface that is already implemented by your array data structure your linked list data structure your w linked list data structure your hash table your hash map these are the data structure already implemented as a developer we should know these are the classes so that we, you can use it So uh, let's discuss one by one this uh, complete your uh, Java collections framework. The Java collections framework majorly have it, uh, two hierarchy. One about your collections, one about your tree, one about your map. So uh, first uh, tree want a in the collection interface. Okay. Uh, so if you look uh, all the here I in the image you are all are the interfaces all are the interfaces okay Co collection is one interface map is another interface list is interface list uh, set is interface queue is interface dq is interface sorted set interface and sorted map interface okay so as per the use case these are set of interface is defined by as a java so these are we are discussing about this is the first tree first tree started with the collections the collection is an interface which provide the basic functionality that used by all the collections like uh, 
we whenever uh, we have a we have a collections the first collection is a blank we have to add element add element add element the general any kind of collection maybe list maybe sort maybe queue maybe dq maybe uh, list or set anything they hand it first you have to add the object without adding object what the so the common method like add the add method is defined inside the collection interface like remove method defined inside a collection and after that there are a specific use case this collection interface as a uh, divided by sub interface like we have discussed key this is set list and queue and dq and sim so if you talking about this set set interface why you define the set interface what is the purpose of set set interface does not allow duplicate element that means if you are if you, you are going to collecting object uh, in this collections if you are adding object 1 it's okay if you are adding object 2 so before going to add here they are going to check it's already available or not available it already available they are not going to allow to add duplicate data that is they maintain your uniqueness so sometime you want our collection should be unique i don't want to allow any duplicate data in those scenario you are going to use a set so this this can be used for storing collection uh, which is a deck of card yeah student record and lots of things we have option anything any kind of object you want to go into collect but that is the uh, kind of your uh, uniqueness maintain you don't want to allow duplicate that you are going to use a set and after that there were already one more sub interface known as a sorted set now you want to further here i want to sort this unique element in the particular order maybe ascending order descending order then you have a sub interface known as your sorted set so if these are the interface these are the interface so who okay the so java not just provide the uh, in the collection framework only interface but they have provided the good set of in classes as well as so if you are talking about this the, as a java platform contain the, these uh, three three purpose implementation as well as here for set we have a concept of this is the class has set or you can uh, so for sorted tree set for linked list this is your linked has set so this kind of uh, classes java provide us whenever you want to maintain just uniqueness uniqueness just you can use your has set class and whenever inside we are adding object 1 object 2 object 3 they are to automatically provide your uh, check duplicate data and sometime you want this uh, collection should be uh, sorted order you can use tree set sometime uh, uh, these uh, sometime you want uh, i want to make a unique bus uniqueness uh, collections of object but i want to implement it should be like your uh, list base your link list like uh, not the array so these uh, kind of not a uh, simply array i want to make a data structure link link list okay like link list so we have a and that link list contain your unique uh, 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 object not allowed duplicate that for that they have a concept of linked has set so these are uh, three classes generally use lots of implementation available but th uh, for this uh, set interface uh, you have to know you can use your has set you can use your tree set or you can use your linked has set so these are the three basic use of implementation whenever you want to collecting the set of object and that object maintain you don't want my collection contain the in any duplicate data and some then you have go to use the has set or you want to sorting then you have to go to make a, like a link has set uh, sometime you want key i make a, or in uh, in which order i am uh, inserting data in the same order i want to retrieve in the the this situation your uh, linked has set is the very good nature sometime our uh, requirements say ki in which order i am putting object to my collection in same order i want to retrieve as well as so you can use the linked has set uh, sometimes say you know i want to just uh, make a collections of object the order in any any order doesn't matter but only maintain your uh, uniqueness no duplicate data allow just use the has set and after that i want to some ordering you can use a tree set 
So these are the some uh, situation where uh, uh, these uh, classes are used. Okay. Uh, so let's see how we are going to this use. So uh, you say set the set is an interface. Set is an interface and uh, set uh, implement the, your generic. So you say ki I want to set up a string. Set up a string. Okay. And the set is an interface. So you cannot create the object of interface. You have to use the take uh, implementation class. So implementation class is like a has set. Now these are the implementation. Okay, and here you say like uh, has it, and this has set now this has set. Uh, let's keep provide a method. You have a like you can just going to add a string. Here I am going to just like add one. Here you are just going to add. Uh, Two, two. You are going to add a three. So in this way. So here, you are collecting object, string of object. But here, you are not specify any size. Size might be grow dynamically. If you can put three element or four element or five element, depend upon your situation. So this is the uh, kind of uh, if you. Thinking this kind of uh, this, we can also store one, two, three string object in the array. But array, we have initially defined your size, but here we are not specify size. This is the concept of dynamic array. So these are the your and uh, how uh, this is the first we have to edit. If you want to just uh, uh, read out ki all the element from here, ki what can data added here. You can just go for each, uh, for each element, for each, uh, let's see, this is the element, each element, just I want to not print, I want to just print, and though I can just print this all element. In this way you can print, or... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> In this way, <coughs> sorry, you can use your high set collection. Here you are putting adding element in collection. Here you are retrieving one by one element. Or you can use uh, instead of uh, simple not uh, method reference. In the lambda expression, if uh, lambda your uh, method here, this method take only one argument, same which you are getting, a uh, same which are passing here. So instead of writing this, uh, you can reuse the method reference. You don't need the uh, here. You can just use the printer method. So this is the same like uh, your uh, lambda expression. So this is the some sort uh, syntax in the some time your uh, method just take uh, one input argument and that just you are uh, uh, getting one element from list and just passing here. You are not doing anything. So just simply you can uh, uh, remove this element as well. Just use some. simply use the method reference. And now uh, this for each method retrieve one element and pass to this print element method. Second element pass to this element. So this is where you can use your hash set. Let's see here hash set is the uh, major def, uh, benefit you cannot add. Let I am going to add uh, uh, two more times. Okay, uh, let's uh, uh, before here let's see uh, out uh, uh, how size of your hash set. Hash set dot size. Okay, before and you can check after. Let's see we have added a duplicate element. Then what happened? They are allow or not allow? Okay, here say you are first you are printing a size 3 and you are adding a 2 again, they are not adding again size 3. Okay, and if you want to let's here add a 4, 4, if you add 
this is three element here your two elements should be five no this is the three this is the duplicate element element duplicate not allowed here so this is this method add method return your boolean data type the particular uh, if you want to successfully check add s out you can just uh, check here you can just write here as well as here Yes, out and you know the particular data is added successfully or not they have a add method is the return type boolean kind of things that you can check the particular uh, uh, data a particular object we are storing in collection it's uh, true or false so here if you're looking your uh, initial size initial size is a three initial size three then you are going to add two they return a false that means key two is already added if you read add a four Four, they say, oh, four is true. We have added this is this is not a store. And now after that, printing a size, size will be four. And then these are one. Here you are thinking these are not maintain any kind of order. We first one, two, three, then four. But here say key one, four, uh, two, and three. So they are uh, your maintain. They man, okay. They, they are going to collecting your all object but not maintaining any insertion order on which the user data have insert in the same order they want. So in this scenario, uh, set of or kind of a linked has it. So you have say key, instead of writing this, uh, you say set of a string equal to new linked has it linked has it okay so here let's the same uh, thing you are trying to say one two three same order same order i want to add this uh, two four as you guys Okay. here just uh, and after that I am again going to the print element okay you see that your uh, linked has it yes out just between the line and if you run it So here look order like uh, one, four, two, three. But here you look order like uh, one, two, three, four. In which the order you are going to add the data element in the collection and same order you want to retrieve. In that scenario, you have to either linked has met, linked has set. Okay. The linked list maintain your kind of uh, insertion order for these uh, kind of uh, uh, data structure okay okay similarly if you want to them a kind of a sorting so you have to use the like similarly you have to use the set uh, of uh, a string like uh, and you sorted sorted they have a like a tree set okay they have a implementation like a tree set So here you can say set uh, of uh, a string. Uh, here you want to call to new tree set. Tree set here. Here you say this is a tree set. Now here again you just uh, add this element.
Excuse me. So this way, the R make your sorted data. So first your four, then O, then T, then T. So these uh, kind of uh, situations, wherever you need uh, situations, you can use this. Whenever you want to just collecting the collections of object that should be maintained uniqueness it does not allow duplicate then use has set but you want to maintain insertion order you can use the linked has set just you want to make a sorting order as well as you can trace it so set have a, these are kind of different uh, implementation classes so java as a collection framework not only uh, provide you as an interface but also provide the list of classes that help us to you just okay uh, so next similarly you have your uh, list interface this is an order collections okay and the situation in which you need to precise control over the each element is inserted you can retrieve element from the by list their expected position now they uh, this is the your uh, collections of object and these all objects are going to store on a particular position basis index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 index 0 so sometime you want to our data our object should be stored on the particular positions and you can retrieve by position wise just like an array okay so this uh, uh, the java platform contains the two general purpose uh, uh, implementation for list enter one is your array list another is your link list okay array list is just implementation a dynamic array implementation in just like a array we have a uh, positions object you are set or get and this kind of link list also contain the your uh, uh, list of object with the uh, maintain the insertion order look like your set okay so here uh, let's uh, example so here uh, we have to note this uh, list is not uh, uh, it's allowed duplicate you can if you want to add the duplicate just you want to duplicate as well as so you have to use your list interface so let us uh, just uh, write in the now so here is again your list interface list have a generic type you can specify which element i want to element uh, equal to the list you cannot implement the list uh, uh, you cannot create the object of list you have to assign the implementation class the implementation class is array list array list you are pass here array list and here check the object name your array list and here you have similarly you can just add this uh, value uh, this is the same uh, this is the common interface the common functionality is defined just here is in your array list but here you have noticed they are allowed duplicates let q we have add uh, uh, to one more times okay in this way uh, you are just creating the object of your array list and this class this is a, uh, a references but provide to interface uh, they have provided add method and you can retrieve all the value and if you run it in but here they are concept of your uh they, they here one two three again two so here you say duplicate data are allowed so these way you can use your array list simply but uh, the the matter you add one two three two four they are uh, maintain your simple order similarly if you want you can uh, create a, a same log for a link list as well as sometime you want to maintain your uh, here 
here you want to like a uh, position based so here you want to iterate this way or generally you can log for each uh, let's give we have a string of element uh, element and here say q we have a your array list and the want to position space the here the concept of uh, 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 this is the normal uh, loop just uh, printing like above uh, here I want to index basis key index one then I to index is starting as integer from zero and then you can say uh, your uh, index uh, less than your uh, array list uh, dot uh, size and then you can say I plus plus here you have a uh, help up with the Or even I already defined. I defined where I define I. Okay. This is the sorry, semicolon. So in this way, here you can say your uh, position. Uh, there's positions. Uh, plus plus I want to just print I and at this positions what are the value what is the object you can say uh, array list uh, array list dot get and write the positions your index okay in this way you are a position based data you can get and uh, here so sometime you want to some operation on the position basis, they say position number zero, one data, position number one, two, one, position number two, three data, position three, two data, four, this is that. So as per our need, sometime you want to each positions is uh, perform some specific operations are needed, then RLS is uh, help. In this no RLS this is just implementation of your array but in this array have a fix uh, initially we have provided a fixed size but in array list you are not providing any fixed size uh, whenever your uh, size is full that time automatically your uh, java runtime system create a new array uh, with a uh, majorly 50 percent more than capacity and then just copy the old data in the, your new array and again you are getting a space here now you can add 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 if you still this are a full then java runtime system are, are, are in, increase the capacity of your array and then again uh, old data all old data copy here and now you are available free space to add 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 so this uh, kind of uh, sometime you know the dynamic uh, array concept here array list is most frequently used so this data structure uh, just look like all the functionality what you are doing in array in array we have a concept of your position based value we are adding position value value where you can delete and position based uh, you can uh, uh, randomly access any value let's say i want to not going to access five i want to just access the four uh, as out the uh, array list of uh, get uh, uh, let's keep third position data you can directly get any uh, data from the array list that they have offered to positional index just your uh, positional index so all the functionality of array is you can get from array list and plus added advantage you don't specify here any uh, predefined size Ki i want to create only you have an option you can define the initial capacity but this is not a mandatory by default uh, array list uh, with some default capacity they are creating and whenever default capacity full okay they are created a new array internally java runtime system URA, and all your old data copy in this array with the particular size okay and after that you have again free space to add more data add more data add more data so these are the added advantage of your array list so this we have to know this kind of a classes java already provide just we have to use it and they provide also kind of random access key any position the data can access uh, not only the first position your yeah, third position your yeah, last position and any position any position your data can remove any position you can data add positional id i want to add the uh, new data like uh, 
array list dot add and this is the one index in it. I want to add the position number one to new data new to okay and if you uh, just uh, here you just print it so you can just uh, make this loop here so that's uh, Now we can look at the two positions the new data should be added. So here the two position new data should be added. So on position base you can add data, on position base you can retrieve data. So this kind of random uh, access behavior of our analyst that is the very uh, flexi nature provided by the this analyst class. <coughs> And similarly, if you want to your uh, link list, similarly you can create your link list object as well as the same. Uh, look like the interface is the same, but um, implementation can be vary. So you can create here your uh, link uh, list, link list, and uh, here you say link list, and here link list all the functionality of and the same you can read it well as so these are the classes uh, already provided to us <coughs> so whenever you want your collection can contain duplicate data for that you want to mend, uh, make you want to look like an array kind of thing positional data you want to order data you want to maintain then we have to use the array list you want to maintain the insertion order of your data as well as then you can the link list so these are the two major uh, implementation of your list interface uh, similarly uh, we have a concept of a queue interface as well as uh, this enable addition <coughs> additions insertion your extraction or inspection operation and you want to maintain kind of a uh, if, if uh, in your uh, queue kind of queue if you want to which first first data if you, first insertion and first in and first out of kind of concept so whatever data in this queue come first only first is out from if you want to get data, your first element is out first. So the concept of a FIFA first in, first out. Such kind of a collections you want key. Whatever data object I'm going to store in these collections, they maintain the first in, first out order the behavior, then we have to use your queue operation. Uh, sometime you want to know, um, I want to both behavior, uh, last in, first out, uh, first in, first out, LIFO. For that, we can use your DQ interface as well as. So DQ provide the both uh, functionality like uh, you can perform the LIFO operation last in first out or first in first out as per your use case. So these kind of uh, interface uh, help us to just know ki the, uh, I want to collections of object that perform the first in first out operation. We can use the DQ interface. I want to the collections of object that only uh, support unique value. You can use the set. If you want to allow duplicate as well as you want to list. Uh, so now this is the first hierarchy. Just we are collecting object, collecting object, collecting object, collecting object. Till now we have a uh, these interface collection interface is the super interface. After that we have a your uh, set interface, your list interface, your queue interface, your DQ interface. Now the second kind of collections, whenever we are not going to collecting object, but each object we are going to the associate a particular key so that key uh, you can access the particular, if you know the key, you can retrieve the value from that map. So in this case, we have either your map interface. So an object that uh, maps uh, key to value. So map uh, cannot contain the duplicate key. Here, if you're talking about the map, map contains some key and some value 
So key is the not duplicate here. Key is the unique and value can be duplicate. So, so here say key, key cannot be duplicate. The each key can map to at most to one value. One key map only one value. Another key, key one map to another value. Okay, uh, so we have a lots of implementation also as here the basic implementation about the hash table uh, and the, this is the basic implementation after that uh, we can uh, find by the three general more purpose generally use your hash map your tree map your linked hash map so hash map use for storing uh, uh, cons uh, object in the form of key and value and similarly tree map you want to make uh, some ordering and here the linked hash map you want to store your uh, collections of uh, key value object in the particular order then you are going to use the linked hash map okay so uh, behaviors in performance of uh, precisely about the hash set tree set or uh, link set internally hash set link set or uh, tree hash set are in both uh, look like uh, implemented in the concept of map okay <coughs> let's example how you can uh, create the object of map so let us light uh, here write a uh, map map is interface they need a, a one key that's i want to key integer uh, value so do let's a string so this is the one map uh, uh, and now you have create a hash map. Okay, hash map. Here say key I want to hash. So here, whenever you are going to, uh, they have a method like hash map. Uh, if you want to add some data element, you have to method that put put. You have to pass one key. Let's pass I'm key and value should be as any stringer. in this way you can put a multiple object whatever you want to two three four here i say two object three object four object and the how you are going to has maybe the collections so just you can just check uh, you have a for each method and just System dot out dot printer. Then in this way, <coughs> so here uh, you can uh, here is the <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Here about two value, they cannot uh, one argument. They are um, ambiguous, so you can. Uh, First, uh, you have to. We have a here uh, for uh, getting a value. We have a three options. You want to print only key, or you want to print only value, or you want to both. So both uh, should like one entry. So let's key. I want to print all the key. So you have uh, some method like a uh, uh, dot uh, key set. So they return the all the key, and after that you can just apply for it. Yes system dot out dot printer so here you can display all the key only okay. is display all the key if you want to all the value so has map have an under, under a function like all the values and here you can just print a uh, system dot out dot printer and if you run it, they print all the value. Okay, in this way, well, all the key, all the value. Uh, Sometimes you can just not write a uh, same line, you can just uh, like this way, that way, they return the uh, set of integers. Okay, and the set of integers is a pass. So key is the unique, so though they return as a set, set support the unique. And if you simply here in set of direct printing, you can just take a variable like uh, your values. Okay. 
the values like your collections. Okay. And collection contain the support duplicate. So here your collections. So in this way you can R read the key or read value. Uh, if you want to read both complete key and value both, then they have another uh, method available dot dot entry set. They can maintain like uh, your entry set. And now we have a key and we have a value. For so here have a, this is a concept of entry set. They have a uh, set of uh, map of entry. Okay. So here you are getting one by one map, and from each map, from each map, you are getting object key and value. So you can see here the dot. Just want to make a for each. Oh, sorry. For just want to make a for each, and the here is the one entry. One entry can be some uh, two argument. K. K comma B K B. Key comma value and here this is a key then a sort sort key one comma this is just entry set object here from entry set you are getting what entry set object entry set object one and the entry set object that here you can say uh, entry set dot uh, get key and plus here you can say entry set get value then in this way we can uh, retrieve the key and value both in the same okay so these are the three views of your map these are the, uh, if uh, we have a map, map have a uh, generally uh, keys and values and multiple key, multiple value. And if you want to first way, you just uh, print all your keys only. So you can get uh, set. Key is the uniqueness, so you will return the set. And if you want to only all the values, you can get values. Return all the values. Values the collections might be your duplicate, yeah, might be not duplicate. This allow. And you want to both, this is the entry kind of, this is the custom object entry, key and value both. You can make an entry set. And entry set, you are getting one, one entry. For one entry, you get key and get value. So these are the three uh, way to read uh, uh, object from map. Or flat way, if you want to only know key, I want to uh, um, has uh, map dot uh, get and just pass a key. I want to third uh, key with a three to give the value. You can directly get the value. Okay, so in this way you can uh, uh, retrieve all the value. Okay, okay. So here this way all the all the all the key, all the values, all the entry set, or any specific, if you already know the key, you, you already know the key, I know the key three, I want to value, this value you can get. <coughs> so in this way, these uh, maps are used, and uh, this uh, map uh, have a allo, also multiple interface implementation, you generally use hash map, a uh, tree map and your uh, linked hash map. These all the collections and the, if uh, before the when Java started at that time, the map is the implementation like a hash table. Oh, uh, these uh, hash tables are a uh, very legacy classes you can say, and these uh, all the methods of hash uh, table is uh, synchronized. So at uh, that means key this uh, if uh, this uh, hash table collections are uh, at a time only one thread can use. But these all the new implementation has map, uh, tree has map, your linked has map, all are the classes that are not thread set. 
if you are using the collections if a multiple thread try to read and write operations you are facing a problem as well as but the this is the performance meant with if uh, some I, time of only all the collections are reading data there is no any kind of operation going to perform update so why you are getting the performance hit so these all the all the classes which we have discussed about like your array list or your linked hash list or your hash set your tree set your tree map your linked hash map all these collections are not thread safe okay if you want your collections should be thread safe then you have to manually this is the one uh, utility method collection dot synchronized list you are synchronized map synchronized set you can use those utility and ch change your complete uh, uh, collections in the synchronized so in in cd when a collection framework uh, was defined at that time this has table yeah vector there are initially two kind of implementation in the initially one is a hash table for map implementation or uh, one is the vector vector is their list implementation so the, these two classes are initially in thread set initially defined ki all the collections if a multiple thread try to access only one thread can allow but uh, now after uh, a new collections uh, collection framework they come up the more both uh, flavor your uh, synchronized map uh, synchronized implementation and non synchronized implementation generally preferable way always use non synchronized uh, in a particular situation a block a method you want to this should be synchronized you can just wrap this object has map your tree has map your link links say array list into the collection dot synchronized map synchronized set synchronized list so this kind of a methods available if you like uh, this is the class you can say collections dot uh, Synchronize. We have a synchronized collections complete, synchronized list, synchronized map, synchronized set. So these kind of uh, 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 you can say classes available, which uh, help uh, to just like you want to array list. And now this array list here. Now this array list is synchronized array list. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, they return the same list of type t and now this array list your synchronized list and now this uh, you will array list you can use in the synchronized manner sometime you don't want to don't use so these utility method synchronized list map has is given to us so as per our program need you need a thread safety then you can synchronize list map or set you don't need thread safety you allow multiple thread can read my collections by default you can array list Uh, similarly, as we discussed, key for the set, and uh, we have a concept of sorted set, and this uh, we have uh, take the advantage to sorting the particular ascending or descending order. Similarly, uh, we have a map, and the map we want to some sorted map on the basis of key. Okay, key is a unique. If the particular thing, a particular object is unique, then you can apply order. Here in set, set all the data in order uh, is is maintain uniqueness, does not allow any duplicate then you can order the complete set and similarly in sorted map key the order key the order order means key they are not allowed duplicate then here you can also make a sorting so internally uh, your uh, set l has set your tree set also is the uh, is the concept of your map implementing your hash map okay so these are the some sorting algorithms uh, sometimes let's key uh, I want to sort the complete uh, manually instead of uh, not uh, I don't want to use the uh, uh, sorted uh, map uh, sorted uh, set so how you do just we have a let's key we have a this I'm just commenting it and just uh, this is the uh, your array list in this array list I want to sort if you uh, sort If I am going to print this array list, and if you print, this is a not a sorted order. But now we have a collection. Now we want to sort it. Okay. Now we sort it here. How to? So this is easiest way. Collections class provide a sort method, and you just pass your array list. 
and this again they return the same sorted list okay and and after that uh, you just you print it now your data is sorted okay this is all the capital letter first then your a small letter so in this way uh, collections class also offer uh, multiples uh, you can say uh, benefit one is your making see, complete collection is a thread safe you can do or you can also some kind of a sorting you can do okay so these are the uh, so <coughs> first thing key how our collection is sort let's key we have a collects let's uh, uh, we have a collection like uh, collections class uh, MP employee EMP class and that have a let's uh, a, a string uh, name and let's give we have a name like uh, integer ID okay imply code emp code id called id by id we do a true attribute and let's uh, uh, we have a yes, insert a setter constructor let's we have a constructor and this now let's uh, we are going to the yeah, uh, list of my EMP okay. list of my employee list here new array list array list and here you can add multiple employee like here say employee dot add add uh, new EMP and let's key ID a constructor just I change the first ID then name okay. just override to string method And here say I am going to add employee one ID name so on. Okay. Just I want to add a, a same ID two. I want to add three ID three. I want to Emily Emily. Then this way, let's uh, we have a like a four four. If you pass out employee list, employee list here. So these are your employee one, two, three, four. Okay, and here I want to let's I want to sort him. Then what happened? I say key collections dot sort, and I pass the employee list. Is it sort? Is sort no? They are throwing exception. Employee uh, sort function. I need a kind of let's. Uh, I am say uh, here it pass EMP. Then it should not work. 
why we are not able to sort okay employee we are before a, a list of a string you are able to sort but list of employee you are not able to sort sort why your imp, uh, here here our list of a string a string class is the comparable to one string compared to another string because a string class implement the comparable interface but in our employee class our employee class have a two attributes your id and name on which basis our java runtime system is going to compare you are comparing by name or comparing by id this is your employee emp is a custom class java runtime system don't know this employee is a customer want to sorting on the basis of his id or on the basis of his name or is the basis of his salary age or nothing so you have to inform the compiler i want to sorting on the basis of particular fields so how will do so here i have a two of two are options okay so here you can say ki agar sort list <coughs> if the list of uh, contain a string element okay it will be sorted into the alphabetic order if a date date will be sorted so how uh, how this how this happen strings and dates both are implemented comparable interface comparable interface uh, provide the uh, natural order of sorting so in sort if you want to this uh, collection sort method is for your class if if your class is not uh, implemented your comparable interface you will not uh, feasible so first how will do first way you can just implement your uh, comparable interface and now to, whenever you are uh, implementing comparable interface you have need to override the method okay so we have to uh, so here i want to let's say uh, on the basis of your uh, like uh, uh, id i want to compare by default in the basis of id okay so how to say say id minus o dot here here you have to take care your object you are getting object so here so first you have say cast your your object to emp e r emp object you know ki we are passing a only emp object okay emp object and then you say uh uh and to the current id your id minus uh, let's ki your employee dot id the in this way you can say ki if this is the minus less than or greater than value you can return and if uh, now you are looking uh your uh, sort is allow now they know ki you are sorting the list a list is by default in comparable interface and ne ki you have a override compare interface uh, this uh, return some uh, zero means both are uh, equal if uh, both are not equal less than greater than this will return value now if you run it okay first try again so here uh, your data will sort id1 id2 id3 id4 let's see want to descending order so you have to implement like uh, here uh, first uh, your uh, input id this is the your input maybe reverse it input id dot your this instance id this instance So you are uh, sorting data in the descending order. Okay, the first year four ID, then three ID, then two ID, then one ID. So this is known as natural order. Means uh, this comparable interface can uh, make a sorting of uh, only one attribute. If you want to again sort of the name, how will do? 
so we cannot do more uh, let's key i have a employee have a like uh, age if you want to sorting on the basis of age how will do like we have a integer age and uh, Yeah, let's key con constructor so let's each have a age here that's key age have a 55 50 age have a 33 age have a 20, uh, 56 age have a 64 so uh, let's i want to how the compiler know so if your uh, list of employee can implement only one business logic but you want to sorting on the multiple behavior so how do so this is the way first way uh, we have already done uh, if your you are writing your own comparable type as well that's in the case of our employee employee class implement your comparable interface and just override your uh, compare to method and compare to methods uh, receive the receive object with this with a specify object and return the negative value or zero or positive for the case of equal so here you can also pass like uh, here you can implement our uh, comparable uh, with the generic types only employ here let's here is a employee so here you don't need to uh, cast here object here you can only directly say you are getting the employee other object and you can say just you don't need to write or you don't need kind of your uh, type casting and you can directly say your other data id okay in this way it will also work okay okay it also works so the this is the one so if uh, in your your domain class or your opposer class or want to become comparable if you want to use inside a collection dot sort or a, a tree map or tree set your uh, class should be implement comparable interface and they override a compare to method and compare to method you have to give the logics in the only one attribute you can provide the logic to sort it so sometime you want to sort some other field as well as so if uh, here if you want to sort some other objects in the order than the their natural order natural order means which are defined in the comparable interface so for what you want to sort the some object with the don't have to implement the comparable object okay so how will do so for that there is a new of uh, uh, provide like comparator interface comparator interface just you provide your uh, similar interface and pass your implementation uh, they have a comparable interface have a compare method here take up both object and implement so here uh, let's uh, uh, let's give we have an uh, uh, here I want to sort on the base of age so how will do we have a uh, this uh, this uh, collections uh, need a comparable uh, if you this is the overloaded method you can look this is the sort and sort is the control o, sort this is the sort take a list and you can also pass the comparator so which uh, argument you want to pass you can pass comparator so here let's i want to age comparator so i write a uh, uh, you know key uh, come in uh, this is the functional interface uh, comparator and then you can write a comparator interface i want to comparator for employee and uh, you can uh, any interface comparator you have two options you can uh, manually write a new class like here instead of i am writing a class uh, age comparator 
is comparator implements your uh, comparator interface of your employee this and here you can just override your okay here you can say let's key of i want to object uh, one uh, dot age minus object object two dot age now age comparator here you can just uh, now in the same collection you can just come here and here say key i want to sort uh, this my list with the age comparator not with the natural ordering you can just pass new here in this way you can write this way okay so now uh, your data will sorted on the basis of your age so you have to just uh, print our override to string method again to set age as well as okay. and if you run it again you will look uh, the now your age 33 first then 50 then 56 then 64 in this way you can pass your comparator object so here you know this is the uh, now you know this is your functional interface so you can use the lambda expression or an anonymous function as well as so let's key i want to instead of this uh, the same uh, kind of uh, you can write uh, like our uh, if let's key i want to uh, like uh, your uh, come uh, sort the name on the basis of name then you have to go again to write a new classes or uh, you can directly write uh, like here uh, my name employee computer uh, yeah you have to say okay, name computer i want to say name computer and instead of writing your complete class you can only write your this uh, logic only here this uh, here it just use the new keyword and uh, see and this way you can just override this now you have a come and now this same collections you can see i can just pass my name here not object just this is the name. now your name comparator object is already created here and here just you want to pass like a with a name so you can see object one dot dot name have a string have a compare to method again compare to object two dot name okay in this way you can uh, giving the logic for your comparator so now you are uh, uh, here pass the name comparator as well as so your first is your name Emily, then John, then Sam, then Tom. So in this way, you can uh, your uh, sort uh, data on the basis of name. Uh, so you know that this is the lambda expression. So the same thing instead of passing here, you can directly pass uh, like instead of writing a new class, you can simply write here complete lambda expression. So lambda expression take a this is the two argument. This is the two argument. This is the two argument lambda expression. You know okay, this is the one uh, this is your only the lambda expression. Okay. This is the lambda expression. Interested of writing complete code, you can pass this here. So just try copy this and uh, pass here, here you can pass. Okay. Uh, here you don't need a need name as well as okay. So this is the two argument take and this is your arrow curly brace and just to put your logic and now this way you can also sort. You don't need to write a complete class as well as you just write a simple way. 
is still sorting working. This works same. If uh, this is the if uh, your implementation have only uh, you know only uh, only one statement, you can remove this curly braces. You can remove uh, this curly braces. You know ki my only one statement is sufficient. You can just return your uh, return keyword also. Also you can remove it in this way. So this is the way you can simply say that this is my employee. I just you pass uh, the collections up list and so. Okay, the same it also works. So this is the using the complete or you can direct complete this as well. Or you can you know ki compiler automatic now ki your this is the list of employee so you have to omit the this uh, of data types as well as you see ki we have a, no this is the list of employee you just pass to employee object and compare this way. It's also work. So this is the lots of uh, simplest way. Now you can say comparing the type of name, or comparing the type of age. Um, just want to compare in the any attributes you can do here. So this kind of a uh, different approach about uh, sorting, and uh, from Java list uh, itself have uh, some like a uh, method sort, and you can pass here as well as. Okay. any comparator instead of using the collections class you can pass your own comparator here i can say passing like a employee have a compare to method so employee by default employee class compare to method this will sort also works so in this way you can uh, or you can pass any comparator as well as this is the by default natural order you can pass your own comparator like uh, we have pass your uh, new age comparator it will work for age comparator as well as okay so you can sort your age comparator or you can pass uh, same like uh, so we have used the collection dot sort yeah list employee list object automatic have a sort method and uh, here you can pass any comparator or uh, or you can directly pass this your complete uh, object one object to compare method here And let's do in this way you can also pass here so depend upon the your uh, class here yeah, lambda expressions whatever things you can pass here okay so by default to sort is the natural order you can either compare comparable interface or comparator comparator by anonymous class your yeah, own class or using the lambda expression and then the, we have a like a boy dot sort compare comparator and then you can say comparing lots of uh, function have a like reverse order you want to completely reverse the sorted order these are the function available you can use and similarly you can use the multiple function comparator class itself uh, provide utility method for us you can comparing any key you can pass any key here as well as comparing to int comparing to log comparing to double comparing to natural order lots of a function available here you can pass comparing employee colon comparing to compare to method or any methods lots of uh, helping methods already uh, provide us uh, uh, jdk uh, we have to just know these are the some set of uh, uh, sort uh, functions available yes you can sort your uh, whatever the name you want so these are the comparator so we have a kind of a 
one is the comparable interface one is the comparator okay so both uh, are uh, one for natural order one for your uh, customized order which you want so that's for the today and the whole uh, summary is that we what we discuss we have discussed got two kind of collections two kind of collections one collections just uh, maintain the some constraint of object and uh, one collections kind of a key and then object key and then object this is the map this is the collection now collections again i have two kind of collections maybe allow duplicate maybe does not allow duplicate like your list then map uh, here we have a again uh, list have a two kind of your array implementation or linked list implementation similarly set have a array implementation linked list implementation and uh, if you are talking about the uniqueness then you have a sorting you can click uh, maybe insertion order linked has set a linked uh, link, link list about the implementation and also in the case of hash map we have a learn about uh, how uh, hash map hash table linked hash map link tree if you want to sort it then tree map and the case of sort sorted tree set you can use and similarly if you want to uh, synchronized uh, data collections you can use the collection it collections dot synchronized map synchronized list synchronized set uh, similarly connections synchronized map as well as so by default uh, initially your uh, vector class and your hash tables are uh, synchronized tables initial legacy classes but nowadays all other classes which we discussed like array list like we discussed your hash set your hash map all are the non thread shape classes if you want to make a thread shape you have to use the collections dot synchronized map list have that convert your complete collection is a thread shape and last uh, we discuss about the compare comparable interface and comparator interface if your class uh, have a implement one comparable interface then provide your natural order sorting and only only one attribute sorting but uh, let's keep we have a list of uh, one uh, class that does not implement your comparable still i want to sorting so you have the past external sort attribute like uh, your pass your comparator and override your compare method and two argument you can pass the implementation and that implementation you can pass using the subclass your implementation class or anonymous class or using the lambda expression and this way uh, you can also sort the list of object list of object that not implemented uh, any comparator and not any comparable interface still you can sort using the comparator interface uh, but your list is uh, by natural order means key only your class can Im can implement your comparable interface and on the particular one attributes provide the behavior key all the list would be the default sorted with the basis of name or id or age but uh, apart from the natural order you want to some additional sorting like and sorted on the basis of name age and some salary any other attributes then you have to provide the your custom uh, attributes key on uh, low for that we have used the comparator and comparator and comparable both are the marker interface marker interface and comparator and marker interface then you can implement your anonymous class or in our lambda expression you can pass in the your set and the list class itself uh, instead of uh, com collections dot sort method you can use collection dot sort for uh, you can sort apply list apply set as well as but uh, in the case of list implementation already provide your sort method so you can directly use the list dot sort and provide your comparator on your comparator and on your attributes this will be the sort okay and thank you uh, for uh, this is the very brief summary about your lots of uh, collections classes the java uh, j provide the rich set of uh, uh, this kind of data structures like uh, array list implementation linked list method uh, like uh, if you were talking about the data structure array they have uh, implemented array and the array list as well as we are talking about the your uh, linked list that we have implemented uh, uh, array linked list uh, we have provided link list uh, link set and has link set as well as and similarly if you're talking about the your stack uh, q dq all are the uh, implementation classes already available in the java api which data structure you are going to use please look that data structure is already implemented by your java framework if this is already implemented 
you can you don't go to uh, start investing to from scratch and try to understand what data accelerator how are going to implement in java so better way you know this setup classes available you can just use these classes in your java api and that can uh, save you lots of times and the from the perspective of a performance from the perspective of our accuracy of the data structure implementation if you are using the jdk library data structure that is means one kind of guarantee your uh, implementation of the data structure is accurate because these are the data structure is well proven and tested and, and last more than 20s year these data structures are using so please uh, be just know ki this set of data structures are already implemented by the java and so whatever the your situation needed you can just find this is the array list is a suitable position use array list link list link list you sometimes use the vector sometimes use a stack sometimes use your dq sometimes use your hash table hash map linked hash map tree set tree map lots of classes available just you figure out what is your use case and what Uh, is the mapping uh, classes available for us just use this okay so last here I again uh, i am just suggestion just you try to create some object try to put some value some try to retrieve some add some remove until you are not uh, doing some code exercise you are not feel comfortable about these classes when you are frequently using these classes your hash table hash map uh, linked list linked hash map if you know if you are a some example then you feel comfortable in your application whenever you think this is the kind of a, a needed a business logic then instead of rethinking to from starting how to implement this business logic you can directly use this data structure and that data structure help us to build your software so quickly so easily and that is also kind of one level of accuracy of implementation of this data structure so here at the end i'm like to say again big big thank you for watching this video